What is going on guys, it is Bond here. We are on Black Ops 3 back here and I'm going to be doing an SVG for Trick Shine. The SVG has been found out as like the best sort of Trick Shine gun right now. It is, yeah, it is better than Locust. Locust is chest and above. However, SVG is one shot kill above the hip. It's basically better. You have a, well, a greater chance of actually hitting a shot and it not being a hit marker. So. This is my setup, basically I run overkill when you get level 19, when I didn't have overkill. I ran just dual concussions as always, you gotta have the dual concussions, that's always, that's the first thing you wanna have, definitely dual concussions. You can even have Semtex, you know, some people have seen people use C4, you can combat axe, um, if you haven't unlocked that, you know, you can use the, the C4, the click, click thing. And you could throw the tomahawk in mid shot, uh, semtex. You can throw that mid shot, also hit a shot with uh, the semtex throw. Uh, first shot on Black Ops 3. You can also frag, trip mine, anything. Just to be creative with shots and anything you can hit. But this is basically like my only really trick shot class. And this is what it is. So I run just FMJ only. And obviously I have the overkill and the CUDA. If you need a good clear out class, this this is two in one to be honest. A good clear out class as well as a good trick shot class. This is a great all round gun, Cuda. It just four bullets anyone. Well, sort of four bullets, but it's just it's unbelievable how sort of good it is compared to other SMGs. And it's like the first SMG you unlock. So it's really good. So you want to make sure you have the FMG obviously, uh, so you don't get hit markers. So. It's another sort of win there. You don't get a hit mark and you actually hit shots. Uh, you could also do maybe replace it with fast hands if you want to reload, but that's just the main thing you want to have is FMJ on the SVG. So it's just more likely that you actually hit and not get a hit mark. Who, who the hell wants to get hit markers? So, as well as the CUDA, I mean, you could switch out. You could take off the overkill and then you could have RK5. Oh, look, I haven't even unlocked RK5 right there. B2 uh, leveling up prestige and right here, left, back, and right. Uh, so you could stick on, like, uh, let's see, what have I unlocked? Uh, dual wield. I've seen people go for dual wield shots. That's really good. So, yeah, I've got one more thing. If I was to do that, I would put definitely stick on dual wield. And look, you have the dual concussion, Samtex Pro. But I just always, 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 always run overkill. Overkill just so you clear out. But I've seen also people. RK5 is actually a good pistol to clear out with, as well as the. Um, I don't know, the first pistol you get, let me see. The first pistol, ML6, if you can trigger finger like fast enough, you can get quite good with clearing out as well on that, but this, as I'll say again, is just my all round class as well. I'm gonna stick on the true vet camo that I have. That is just my class that I run every single time I trick shot. No matter what it is, I just always use this class. Uh, I've used it for the, before I even prestiged, uh, while it was first prestige and after I've prestiged now, I just constantly constantly use this class I've never sort of replaced the CUDA for a different gun or an assault rifle I just always kept it like this and you can go for six shots Semtex throw, concussion throw uh, CUDA, there's endless things you can just think of, you know um, I don't know, punch in midair, which is like the whole like the I always do that in my shots But this is basically just the sum of, of my actual just trick shot class I use all round for the SVG so it's the best sort of setup you can do. Thank you for watching as always It's been your boy Bond Peace.